Starbucks job. Dad's already kind of started this because I've been tied up on some other stuff. But as you can tell, it's nice and muddy right now. We got a really good downpour about two o'clock this morning. I woke up and it was just raining like all get out. So he's been over here with his weather like the last two days trying to uh, pop up some of this asphalt and get this. They're ready to get this cut down now kind of behind on some of their scheduling with more engineer problems and uh, waiting on certain materials and plans and I don't know more of the same basically but they only wanted a part of this asphalt cut out but we need to run downspouts and the electrician needs to run more conduits out to the intersection in the or the driveway and the sign so that just saw it cut it and start taking up all the asphalt which I'm glad because like I said this has kind of been a pain where it's like we can come over here and work like three hours at a time because you can tell we got a lot of stuff on our way now but uh, so yeah I'll kind of jump out or set the camera up and show you a better better view but this was always needed to be cut down like the rest of the parking lot we just couldn't do it because they were staging the lumber and some of that on there which I think they're pretty much done with all the, I mean obviously the exterior and the windows and stuff aren't in, but I think they got the roof on the other day or most of, I'm not sure, so I did come over here yesterday in the 260 and expose the storm drain so we can uh, they're going to make a box where we normally get all those drain boxes built, they're going to make one that kind of sets over the top of a 24 inch concrete pipe it's going to have a hole in the side and we're going to run the eight inch uh let's keep swinging this way the eight inch line from the downspouts or the gutters uh into the top of that box they don't have to have like a retention pond or anything which is kind of handy i guess that's the only thing they come up with because they have absolutely no room i don't even know i figured they'd make them put one in the parking lot but they didn't even have to do that over here, so.
making good progress on this. I've got a few more loads to haul off. Uh, I think I'm still a little bit high. There's the uh, engineers are supposed to show up here shortly and I think this afternoon and kind of stake out some of the points throughout here. It may be, I don't know, two or three inches higher than what it needs right now, but we're still about two feet below that curb over there. <laughs> so I think the new curb is going to be, top of curb is going to be a foot below that. So yeah, they've been sending pictures and trying to figure out exactly how they're going to make this work coming off that road and this existing parking lot right here so they were supposed to kind of blend into it so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with there the superintendent has figured out it said it would be a lot nicer if the building was a foot higher so i have to agree with them but we'll just kind of see what they come up with but we've kind of got it cut out and blended in with what was there uh, i'm gonna have to get inside or that Connex box is that, and some of that's gonna have to come down, but I think they're just worried about trying to get the curbs and such. We may have to just do that after the curbs are in and one of the very last things for the landscaping. How this side's kind of coming out, you can see a little bit of a height difference here. And I'm gonna try before I leave, I've got to take these out of the ground. They're a foot too far over. So they gotta move a foot closer to the uh, back of the curb. There's six feet in the ground. So I'm gonna see if the 2150 can kind of grab them and I guess rock them back and forth, hopefully, and pop them out. And I think both of them, I gotta locate a conduit. Looks like two, maybe one conduit. I think this one kind of comes out at an angle and somewhere in there. So I'm gonna have to dig out here to see if I can find it. And then that one comes straight out from the drive-through window there. But I'm going to have to scratch down and cut that off. And then we'll see if we can't loosen these things up. But I guess all we're going to do now is just kind of clean that off. And then this is just going to get creek rock in here now. Probably some two or four inch stuff that'll kind of hold the side of this hill since there's such a height difference. It's actually about uh, 24, 26 inches lower. It's running uphill, but this gets, gets almost three feet down there on that. So but that stake right there is actually the property lines. So we're a little bit over the property line on cleaning that off, but there's not much you can do with such an elevation drop. But we're waiting on dad to get back. We'll load up a few more loads and then hopefully by that time, the engineers will have some of this kind of staked out. Cause I know there's a, a curb or something that comes out of the drive through and kind of arcs around to that seating area. So they'll have one in here then one over there and then whatever they're gonna do right here. So it'll be interesting.
18 loads later today we got uh, all this stuff cut out so i'm not really 100 percent sure if it's cut down as far as they even had on the prints because they were supposed to come stake this out but they didn't show up uh, i think the only point i had was the curb on that side but it's supposed to go up a little bit so i kind of eyeballed in what they had underneath that curb and then just try to make kind of a uniform cut so it's pretty close so hopefully they'll show up tomorrow and stake it out and then <laughs> go back to the drawing board and figure out how they're gonna make this thing work but at least uh at least for tonight it's cleaned up the superintendent can get here in the morning and get on the horn with the engineer and see what they come up with 